Hey guys, Mechanic CG here and welcome back to another episode of Forza Motorsport. Today is episode number 26. If you guys do enjoy the video, make sure to leave a like, comment down below and subscribe, and let's get into the content. This video was not streamed live on Twitch, but instead was recorded directly for YouTube. However, if you do want to see us record these videos live for YouTube, then feel free to check the description down below for the link. Okay, so a lot of things have changed since the last recording session. So, um... Thing number one, I have received the deadly coronavirus. I, I am officially COVID positive, which is brilliant. Uh, number two, I've got myself a little dongle, which means I now no longer have to use my Xbox 360 controller. I can use my PS5 controller, and it is so much better for recording. And uh, three, this is the first session that we're actually just recording straight, straight up recording. We're not streaming to Twitch or anything. And the reason for that is because I am an idiot... I did not set up my Twitch account properly. Oh, I think I did. Because I have Twitch confirmation codes to my new phone number. But apparently it's still saved as my old number. So I can't access my Twitch account with two-factor authentication. Until that's all set up. So, for now, I'm desperate for content. I need it for YouTube. I want to play some Forza Motorsport 1. So, we're just recording today. Uh, we're going to start off with the Ultralights Challenge. This is open to unmodified lightweight cars, and we're going to take the Lotus Exige again, which I th believe we took on episode number 23. Uh, so let's get cracking. Oh, and I forgot to mention, we're starting off with Road Atlanta 2, moving on to Alpine Ring, Tokyo Circuit, Rio de Janeiro, Blue Mountains Raceway, and then finishing off in New York. All right, this is definitely going to be a challenge, but uh, I am up for the challenge. Oh, this is so good. Actually having no... Um, actually having a controller that fits in my hand a lot better is a lot more comfortable. So and now officially I can say I only use PS5 controllers. Which is a really good thing because I cannot stand the Xbox 360 controller and the Xbox One controller is a little bit naff. I've also got to be ready on the uh, mute button for if I start having a coughing fit while recording. <laughs> it's um, it's definitely a weird experience recording rather than straight up streaming now. Um, I think this is the first time I've actually done this for nearly two years now. Because the majority of my other content and my later content was actually streamed. So... It's a bit interesting. It's an interesting scenario we're in. I'm a bumblebee that likes to eat KFC. Oh, I just noticed my music stopped. <laughs> Pretty good. So, uh, by the looks of it, the Exige is doing a fairly decent job. Oh, and another thing that has changed in my setup. I think I mentioned it last time, but this is going to be the first video edited directly off of um, my new M.2 SSD. Which is hopefully going to help big time when it comes to... Um... Editing content, especially with timeline and stuff like that, working out stuff on the t uh, the editing timeline, it should be a lot smoother and a lot more enjoyable to actually edit now. Because the the difference with my content before, when I was editing, before I had this PC, a lot of my content was edited at a much lower bit rate, something like. 5,000 kilobits a second, I think it was. Which is okay quality, but it's it's not ideal for um, YouTube viewing because it's not a great quality. I, I can notice a massive difference when I'm like recording Forza Motorsport 4. There's a huge difference in quality from Forza Motorsport 4 now on the PC than when I was recording it straight to the capture card 
And it's, it's good to see the quality going up, but obviously that quality going up adds extra challenges. And one of those extra challenges has been... Oh, got off the track a little bit. Uh, one of those extra challenges has been the fact that it's a lot more challenging to, for the computer to edit that footage. The CPU can handle it no problem, but the hard drive just cannot keep up with how much data there is. So... It takes a good 30 seconds to a minute just to load each individual clip. Even though the clips, that's still pretty quick. And that's quick enough to view footage. When you're trying to load up an entire clip into your RAM, it's unbearable. You have to wait for a minute before you can edit stuff. Otherwise, you have to try and scrub on the fly. Which can, again, get stuff a little bit incorrect or a little bit slow. So... Having it straight off the SSD means a video should fully load in about 5-10 seconds. And it also means that some of my favourite games, like Fallout 4, have some nice loading time as well. I think I did do a Fallout 4 stream. Um, I think it was the day before I got locked out of my Twitch account. Um, obviously, it's a temporary lock. I'm just waiting for my phone to activate itself. Because uh, my old number, I lost the SIM card for it. I still own the old number, but... Because of the fact that I lost the SIM card, we have to try and find it again, put it in a different phone, get it all hooked up. Yeah, it's, it, it's been a pain in the ass. Now it's just a waiting stage. It's just a waiting game. Very good, very good so far. Now that I've got that SSD, though, it officially means that I've got over 10 terabytes of storage in my PC, so... <laughs> it's definitely overkill. And I mean, if I decide to remove the 4 terabyte drive that's in my... Um, PlayStation and put that into my PC as well... As, like, an archive drive for all my videos... I'd have 14 terabytes, easily. Alone. Mm -hmm. Alone. Not bad so far. Coming up to the final lap. It is definitely strange. Not having Twitch chat here. I'm trying to find stuff to conversate about. During the video. Which I know a lot of YouTubers. They can struggle to find that. And I'm one of those. But I think so far. I'm doing an okay job. <laughs> Especially with the fact that I've got a block... Ow. I've got a blocked up nose. <laughs> i got a blocked up nose. I've got... Ugh. Just illness all throughout me. But... At the end of the day... 
I want to get some content done. I haven't played Forza in over a week, so... I was supposed to play it this Monday, and it's Friday now. <laughs> there we go, first place, not too bad. 24 grand. Okay, we are here at race number two, Alpine Ring. And so far, this um, this little adapter for PS5 controllers for Xbox 360 is really, really doing it justice. It is definitely a vital bit of kit for any uh, retro game fan because it works on original Xbox con uh, Xboxes as well. Oh my gosh, my nose is just killing me today. <laughs> I had to mute the um, the microphone to make sure that I didn't just sneeze everywhere and just peek the microphone. Surprisingly though, it's it's not been as rough. Having COVID hasn't been as rough as I was expecting. Now that I've said that, I'm going to get hit like a train tomorrow. Which is kind of the reason I wanted to record this now. Because who knows, if I tried to record tomorrow and I felt like I'd been hit by a train, I might not have been able to record for a few days. And I need two videos done at least today. So that way I've got enough time so that if I do my subathon on Twitch, if I get my count back at this rate, I should have plenty of time to do it. And not worry about a backlog or anything like that. I'll obviously be recording footage during my subathon, but it will mean I don't have to worry too much. Because I know for a fact while I'm streaming i will not be editing videos my pc will kill itself there we go lovely i can breathe through my nose now woohoo not too bad Uh, all right, all right, Coolio. Ah, uh, do you know what I haven't checked? I haven't checked if Nvidia Broadcast is working properly. So there could be the potential that I'm just recording this and I've just got a massively peaking microphone, which is really bad. Because uh, sometimes Nvidia Broadcast likes to bug out. Hang on, let me double check voice meter, what voice meter says. Uh, voice meter looks normal. Doesn't look too out of the place, out of the ordinary. I do need to look into um, getting more extensions for voice meter. Because I think voice meter banana just isn't enough tracks for me. I think I might need voice meter potato. Which is kind of crazy to think about, but. Not bad. Alright, let's go. Also, one thing I have been doing a lot during... So, uh, this is technically day three of COVID for me. Which is it, kind of surprising. 
because normally day three is like one of the worst days out of all of them. But who knows? It might be day four for me where it gets worse. Um, but yeah, one thing I've been doing quite a lot, I've just been laying down, chilling, sorting out stuff for Discord servers that I'm in, uh, chatting to mates. But I've been watching a lot of a, a TV program called uh, Chicago Med. Which, if you don't know, Chicago Med is basically um, a series from Dick Wolf, who used to make Law and Order. Uh, I think Law and Order is still being made, but it's not as commonly made anymore. And I think Law and Order is based in New York. Um, whereas Chicago Med is obviously based in Chicago. But uh, the Chicago series actually spans across a lot more. It's a really good series. You've got Chicago Med, Chicago Police Department, Chicago Fire, Chicago Justice, or Chicago Law. I can't remember what it's called. Which is basically Law and Order, but for Chicago. <laughs> but it is it is a really awesome, um, really awesome franchise, and I've I've watched through two seasons now of Chicago Med. Because a lot of it is on uh, Amazon Prime. And I am loving it. <laughs> Big time. Alright, coming up to the final lap. Final lap already? Oh my god. That's quite impressive. All right, not too bad. And there we go, 728, uh, 24 grand. We're level 33, so we've got intake and exhaust upgrades for all cars are 25% off. Not too shabby. All right, we are here in Tokyo. I don't know the lyrics of that song. <laughs> I just imagine that's what it is. Oh, what are you doing? Why are oh, you pillock? That was a horrendous corner there. And I have no clue why that voxel did that either, to be honest. Mr. Voxel, give me space, you prick. Oh, no. I went in reverse. Uh, not ideal. Okay, I have a huge gap to try and gain now. Okay, slowly catching up. Carahead's got a three second lead. If we can't get to the end of this lap and get it down to about two seconds, we're going to have to restart because I'm not going through the entire thing.
Three and a half. Hmm. Maybe we could do it. There you go, see? One point six. That was much better. Illuminate like the northern lights. I'm still listening to good old drum and bass. But uh, it's not for anyone's viewing pleasure other than my own. <laughs> Normally it's for the Twitch viewers, but... Do you know, we're going to stick with it anyways. I still haven't checked how the audio's sounding. So I could be sat here recording this and nothing's actually working. Crap. That was horrendous. I need to be careful with that because I keep shifting into uh, reverse gear. Come on, we got this. Here we go. Oh! Okay, so we are catching up. We just got to actually try and push to get past the car. Come on. Fuck her. Much better. Right. Okay, we're much closer now. So hopefully when we get in through to the next section, we might be able to get a lunge on them. How is that car ahead so fast though? There we go. We got the lunge. There we go. Finally, we're in the lead. And we've actually held the lead as well. Where the hell did the car behind go? What? Where did the Vauxhall go? It's 12 seconds behind? What? Did they just park up when I overtook them?
I'm actually baffled. Not too bad, not too bad. It is pretty cool to see all these car sponsors sponsoring these video games. Like, these guys know that these video games are what make car people nowadays. And it's good to see that they were supporting racing games from the start and also into the future. Because at the end of the day, car guys are made up playing racing games as a kid. It's how 95% of car people are made. Because it's the only place they can really experience the thrill safely as a kid. Very nice. Every breaking zone. Tight corner. 15 second lead. That's ridiculous though. The car just died. Just straight up gave up on its position. And there we go. 929. I'll save that replay and worked out work out what happened to that car there we go not too bad 24 grand okay it is time for rio see so yeah, now that i'm not streaming <coughs> and i'm just recording and there's no webcam or anything like that i can chill i've got my feet up i'm enjoying it I have noticed, though, with the COVID, I've been a little bit shorter of breath. Only by a slight amount. But it's something you do notice. It's nothing insane, though, that's causing me problems or anything like that. So we should be chill. It's definitely uh, making my driving shit, though. <laughs> I get past this. I want to get past this uh, voxel as soon as possible. We've got a little bit of slipstream here. Oh, nice move on the outside there. Oh, actually, technically, that would be the inside, wouldn't it? Pretty good, pretty good so far. Oh, and for anyone watching on YouTube, <clears throat> if you're watching this live as a premiere, you'll only see Super Chat, I believe. But uh, if you're watching this as a video, just come by a year, two years after this video went live. There's actually a button on there called Super Thanks now, which uh, is basically like a Super Chat, 
where you can donate money. But it's for videos. So you can donate whenever you want. Which I think is a really cool feature for uh, content creators. Because it, it gives an easy way for people to support creators at any time. So if you guys are wanting to support, the super thanks button is down there. Feel free. But it's, uh, it's not necessary. <clears throat> oh, spread love. Oh, spread love. We go, not bad. <laughs> Oh, spread love. Oh, spread love. Also, if you're wanting to watch my first attempt of doing this Forza Motorsport thing, doing Forza Motorsport 1, uh, make sure to join the channel on the, I think it's the gold tier, which has all of the um, archived series, which includes uh, my first series of Forza Motorsport, uh, Forza Horizon 4. And also has um, Motorsport 1, my first attempt. Not too bad. Some of these championships are pretty long. And uh, some of these races are getting so long that I'm having to put ad, ad breaks halfway into the race. I'm trying to avoid putting ad breaks during the races, but some of them are long enough that I have to put ad breaks. But so far, I think I've had two races where I've had an amp break in the middle of it. And those have both been on um, the test track. The rest of them, adverts have always happened between races. So as to not interrupt the viewing experience, which I'm kind of happy with. And I know when it comes to like Forza Motorsport 5 and 6, definitely. Um, except for the endurance events, all of those can be done at the end of a race. Because none of those races last more than about six minutes at the most. I think it's also the same with uh, Motorsport 7 as well, maybe. And uh, I did find out something kind of interesting the other day. So uh, apparently, uh, I own both sets of DLC for uh, Forza Motorsport 6, which I was 100% unaware of. Uh, which means that I can actually do the DLC for Motorsport 6. As well as obviously the extra DLC for all the Horizon games. So, not bad. I don't think Motorsport 7 ever had DLC anyway, so we never got that. I would like to see... Uh, I'm actually curious what um, Horizon 5 is going to have for its DLC. Because then I am going to buy it. Uh, but more than likely in the future, I'm probably going to look at buying um, Horizon 5. I don't know. I don't know whether I'm going to play Horizon 3, 4, and 5 on PC or console yet. It, it all depends if I've got a double PC set up. Because if I've got... Um, a dual PC setup or a PC with a killer graphics card and a killer uh, CPU I may end up just recording it off PC but uh, in my PC's current state I cannot game and record content at the same time while streaming I have to choose either streaming or recording
just the two of us. We can make it if we try, just the two of us. Oh, a little bit of a nudge there. We'll call it a love tap. Oh, I need to... Do you know, the one bad thing about COVID, we've ran out of everything in the house, which means... But we're not allowed to go shopping. Because although our restrictions are lifted, I don't think you can go and socialize whilst you are still COVID positive. And again, I may be wrong about that, but... I don't really want to risk giving COVID to other people that are vulnerable. So, just got to stay indoors. Not like that's ever affected me anyways, having, having to be forced to stay indoors. But it does mean I've run out of Yorkshire tea. Which is uh, a bit of a sad day. <laughs> There we go, 8.45, not bad. All right, here we go. Blue Mountain Raceway. Ah, get out of the way. Here we go. Ah, not ideal. Not bad. I really hate this track and I can't I'm still gonna blame it on the input lag that makes it undrivable and annoying surprisingly though I don't know why I don't know whether it's because of the fact I'm using a ps5 controller and an ad adapter but it feels slightly more responsive than the old uh, 360 controller ever was so could be a little bit of a bonus. And obviously the vibration of this, the PS5 controller is so much better, in my opinion. Bing, 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 bing. Do, 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 do. I'm extremely excited for Forza Motorsport 4. Oh, someone is now playing Beat Saber on my friends list. Woohoo! Not bad. That was a horrendous corner. <laughs> I was just like, let's send it, see what happens, and uh, well, it didn't go well.
Not bad. <coughs> it's, uh, yeah, <laughs> the COVID's getting to me. It is kind of interesting, though, because when I first played this game, COVID had just become a thing, and everyone was absolutely frightened of getting it. And now the second time I'm playing it through, I've got COVID for the first time. <laughs> two years difference as well. Like, I started playing this two years ago. Man, what you need. There we go. All right. Not too shabby. Not too bad. Right. We are over halfway through this race now. Car behind 7.3 seconds. Not too bad. So the plan is hopefully to give myself about three years to finish this. And then hopefully... Maybe in about five, six years time. Probably when I hit 25, 26. I'm going to do this all over again. Whether I do this all over again on YouTube or not is an entirely different part of the equation. But nonetheless is a part of the equation. Because I know for a fact, if, if I don't do it on YouTube for a second time, that's fine. Because I will have done it once. But I will definitely want to do it in five, six years time. But with the extra Forza games on top of it. Or I could wait 10 years. Do it in 2030. Well, that's not 10 years, that's eight years, but still. Because actually, 2030 would be the 25th anniversary of Forza, so that would be a perfect time to do a second run at this. What you need in... And what you need... I'll make sure as well in 10 years to buy a new Xbox 360. Oh, actually, this one's going strong anyways. We could just stick with it. Depends how well this Xbox is doing in 10 years time. Because if it's not doing very well, then obviously I'm going to avoid it. <laughs> Not too bad. I think we've got a fairly decent um, time gap anyways. Oh, I've taken a cone and I've hit the wall. I think we got a little bit of um, bodywork damage, but I don't think there's anything actually wrong with the chassis with that, so 
It's looking good. And here we go, coming up to the final corner. Cut a little bit of it. Get as much time off. And we're looking at 9.29. Not bad. Okay, here we go. New York. Concrete jungle. Mm, shit. <laughs> oh, I forgot to turn. It's not ideal. Here we go, come on. That uh, voxel in front is so much... Oh! So much quicker, but oh my god. That was uh, a little bit sneaky from the voxel there. Okay, we're gaining distance. Not too bad. Nine point uh zero point nine two five seconds. Whoa. Come on, we got this. There we go. That's the pass we were looking for. I can definitely say now that I've had COVID that it's... I don't understand why it's been so bad for a lot of people. Because it really hasn't affected me that much. I've only had it three days, though. And it normally takes about seven seven days total for your body to get over it. So, potentially in the next few days it might get worse, but I, I doubt it. I really think I've uh, dodged a bullet with this one. I don't even think I've dodged a bullet. I think I've dodged, like, a dart that's been thrown extremely slowly at my head. <laughs> And I've just dodged it with a gentle sidestep. Something like that. Not too bad. I do think some of the races in this game are a little too long. Because I think what Forza is good for is variety. I don't know. Yeah, I, th I think they are too long in this game. But I know Motorsport 4 and the later Motorsports where they have shorter races I think is better because it means that there's a variety rather than um, a huge amount of the same stuff. Variety is always key. Always. And I mean I know we've already driven this car a couple of times but that's because we don't really have a choice. 
With um, Motorsport 2, I think we're going to have a couple of duplicates again because of how the game's structured. But I think Motorsport 3, definitely, and Motorsport 4, we can avoid having any duplicate cars at all, to be honest. Except for maybe the final events where one car is just so much more comfortable to drive. But again, I, I still think we can avoid it because there should be the opportunity. Oh, I've just realized if we're playing through Forza Motorsport 3, going from left to right, like I have planned, we're going to end up with all of the endurance races in one section and then all of the world championships in one go. It's definitely good that way because it means that we come back to slower cars and it's all mixed throughout the entire playthrough rather than just, oh, we end up with faster cars at the end, which, I mean, there's nothing wrong with that. That's obviously a good progression, but it means that we have variety all throughout and we have, it's constantly changing. I still need to look into uh, getting that wheel thing sorted out. I wonder if actually putting in a... Actually, no, that won't work. I don't think. I it might do. I wonder if putting a Logitech wheel into the... Uh, little dongle thing I've got here might work. Because technically it's an Xbox One controller, so... Could identify as a... Controller on, on the thing. Ouch. Not too bad. Not ideal. Did it, did it, did, 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 did. Not too bad. I want to be a Toys R Us kid. Man, I grew up with the end of the Toys R Us era. I was basically the last generation that grew up with Toys R Us. And now it's basically gone, pretty much. There are kids growing up today where Toys R Us doesn't exist. I can't imagine that. I feel sorry for the current generation. I feel so sorry for them. Because they didn't get to enjoy something as amazing as Toys R Us. I mean, that was the best store in the world. You got everything from that. And not too bad. There's our 23 grand. Lovely jubbly. We're going to get ourselves a Ford GT40, which actually might be good for when it comes to the uh, classic sports car championship that comes at level 30, I believe. So that should help us a lot. In fact, let's double check. Uh, I thought there was a classic sports car thing, but uh, apparently there is. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy, be sure to leave a like, comment down below and subscribe, and I will see you in the next one. Peace out.